As you've probably heard, Sunday Swap is launching on the testnet. The implications of this are huge, both for their project, as well as the broader Cardano ecosystem at large. But with all these projects getting ready to launch, all of them seeming great, but sometimes hard to tell apart, how do we know the difference between them and how can we responsibly start getting involved? Charles has some good advice to keep in mind as the ecosystem grows and how we can try and stay safe with all the projects launching. Let's take a look together in the weekly report. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today it's time for the weekly report. Let's jump right in. So once again, the biggest news this week centered around Sunday Swap and two different big announcements that just came out. Let's take a look at the first. There's a blog put out by World Mobile talking about the sweetest integration, World Mobile pairing up with Sunday Swap Labs. And as a reminder, World Mobile is yet another exciting project getting ready to launch in the Cardano ecosystem, with their mission being to connect the unconnected and bring cellular access and therefore sort of this layer zero connectivity to as many people as possible in developing countries, starting with Tanzania. But their goal is to build across Africa and go from there. So it's one of the things that people have been excited about for a really long time, and seeing them paired up with Sunday Swap is really getting everybody pretty fired up. So let's see what they have to say. Sunday Swap has agreed to work with us to help integrate a white label access portal, both on web and mobile, to a decentralized exchange or DEX that World Mobile can offer to its customer base. So this is really interesting and a really cool thing to see right off the bat on sort of what Sunday Swap is thinking of, like looking ahead to not only have their Sunday DEX that's available to those that go straight to it on the Cardano network, but it seems like this could be the first of many where they're doing a white label access portal. So basically world mobile users would just go into the world mobile app and then from there would see a DEX that's branded by world mobile, but under the hood is being run by Sunday. Really, really clever idea where they can then share this integration with other people who can brand it as their own, but use Sunday swap under the hood. This initial sentence here really gives a lot of indication on where they're both trying to go. So since World Mobile's whole thing is cell connection and not everybody knows what a DEX is, and for those in the audience that aren't familiar, a DEX is an ownerless marketplace for efficient digital asset transactions. And unlike centralized exchanges like Coinbase or Binance or one of these, a DEX does not have a central owner and aims to democratize ownership and share the profits. Participants can put their capital to work, providing liquidity to pairs of cryptocurrencies, creating greater liquidity on the DEX, and in return, those participants who provide liquidity are rewarded. And that's exactly what we've seen on the Ethereum blockchain, right? With Uniswap, PancakeSwap, and some of these other ones. But this seemed really interesting here. Sunday Swap will offer ADA and other Cardano native tokens, including World Mobile tokens, immediately upon launching. And look at this, the most liquid pairs will include ADA against World Mobile tokens, Sunday against World Mobile tokens, and Sunday against ADA. So it seems like this integration that they're doing has that cool aspect of the rebranding, the white label branding that World Mobile and others can also use on top of Sunday. But it's also really interesting to see that out the gate, we can expect that, for example, if you've been trying to get a hold of World Mobile tokens and you haven't been able to get any yet, that as soon as Sunday Swap launches, there will be Sunday World Mobile token pairs of liquidity as one of the largest liquidity pools immediately available. So that's super exciting. But then the question is, okay, but when is Sunday Swap going to be going live? And a really big announcement just came out about that. Who's ready to sample some flavors? Sunday Swap will be going into the testnet on Sunday, December 5th. So for most of you, when you're watching this video, Sunday Swap is live right now on the testnet. Huge news. If history is any indication of what things going to the testnet implies, think about when Shelly went to testnet and then we just smoothly rolled over into the mainnet and got proof of stake. When Alonzo went into the testnet and we smoothly moved over into the mainnet and we got smart contracts. Of course, those were IOG rollouts and this is a third party company, not directly affiliated with them. But regardless, once any organization, whether it's IO, Sunday, or any of the others coming up, once they feel confident enough to put it on the testnet, at that point, I mean, the launch sequence has initiated, right? And we're really counting down in terms of weeks that are left until we see it on the main net. So I definitely expect that once it hits the test net, they're probably gonna get a lot of great feedback. We'll probably see some iterative cycles of quick fixes being made, but the main net launch is right around the corner and we'll keep you all posted as we hear more. IOHK actually had Pi Lanningham on their channel and they put out a short video that we'll link down below. Pi is always a very well-spoken person and communicates ideas very well. But this interview was really interesting because he talked about not just some of the innovations that are going on at Sunday, but some of the collaborations that they've done with the IO team and learnings that have been shared back and forth 
including different protocols and approaches that the Sunday Swap team is planning on open sourcing so that others in the ecosystem, including future DEXs, can take advantage of them as well, and other things to just, in general, make development on the Cardano blockchain easier. So really cool interview, recommend you check it out. But on the eve of Sunday Swap, going to the testnet, and then shortly after, launching live on the mainnet, and if you think about the explosive implications that this has for the Cardano ecosystem to finally have a working DEX live and running, and what that's going to mean for sort of the hype around it, right? But also people's excitement level, and then all the things that will come after. Charles put out a really good video on just dApps in general. It's about half an hour long. He covered a lot of different things. But what we wanted to do was, we'll show you a few different clips here that we thought were really relevant, specifically for this launch coming up, and then for the many more that we're gonna see after. Right now, we've seen a lot of focus on, on very specific projects, like, ooh, Sunday's getting ready to launch, and, and Meld is just wrapping up their ISO. And a lot of these projects have been getting high scrutiny from the broader community, as well as from the IO team as well. But as these things are really starting to blow up, let's sort of take a step back and remind ourselves that with this explosive growth that we're about to see, is also gonna come a lot of noise and a lot of danger in there too. So let's listen up to what Charles has to say here. Now, uh, I do get asked on a regular time uh, about when does this DAP come out? When does this DAP come out? Uh, I still get criticized from time to time about issues for other pieces of software like Uroi. It's important for the community to understand that Cardano is big and there are many people. If you go to cardanocube.io, you can see the ecosystem map. Uh, there's well over 100 applications that are in the process of building and launching on Cardano. And they're public, you can see them, you can click on them, you can go to their websites, you can see the teams. Uh, and we don't have a commercial relationship uh, with those entities, the vast majority of them. Uh, and where we do, it's usually around us helping because we'd like to make sure that the code that they're deploying is okay, uh, or perhaps it's a small equity position through the C fund. Uh, but in any event, because we are not in a command and control position for that infrastructure that's being deployed, we don't know the dates. No one tells us. So if you come to me on Twitter and say, when does Sunday Swap launch? We don't know. And that's why it's so important to understand this is a big ecosystem. There's going to be successes. There's going to be failures. Just like Ethereum is a big ecosystem. Bitcoin is a big ecosystem. And you can choose to focus on the DAO with Ethereum or Mt. Gox with Bitcoin and believe that's the standard. Or you can realize that the failure or success of these things has no bearing on the overall picture of the quality of the platform. Uh, so in the case of dApps, we're going to get enormous amounts of misinformation. We're going to get enormous amount of uh, FUD and other things. And it's important that you do your own research. It's important that you don't get immediately taken into it. And this is not just on the negative side, but also on the positive side. Uh, people will make claims about the dApps that they build on Cardano that are not true. So you have to hold the DAP developers to the same standards that you hold us to. Evidence-based software development, evidence-based data. Show the evidence, show the paper trail, show the work, show the code. The good news is the wave of ventures that are coming, for the most part, the ones we've interacted with have been very optimistic and open to having other people check their work, collaborate, share information, get certified, produce peer-reviewed research. Uh, and that's really exciting because that means that we can expect an extension of that quality. But because it's an open ecosystem, for, because it's permissionless, because it's decentralized, not every single person is going to subscribe to that philosophy. And that means you'll have a lot of move fast and break things people who will do things very quickly. And perhaps those things work but perhaps they don't. And that's why $10.5 billion has been lost or stolen this year in the DeFi space. And we have to accept that some of that will occur on Cardano. And again, because of the dishonest crypto media, because of social media behaving the way it is, those failures, there will be an attempt to define our platform that way. So some really great points, lots of projects will be coming out. Some of them plan to be great and will be great. Some of them plan to be great and will stumble and fall. And some of them will be rug pulls from the very beginning that we need to watch out for. 
So what are some things as an ecosystem we can try and do aside from educating ourselves? What are some of the things that we can do to try and better prepare ourselves and guard ourselves and others to find what are the true legitimate good projects out there and how do we separate those from more of the noise that either haven't quite proven themselves or might be a problem that we need to watch out for. That's where we get to the idea of DAP certification, which Charles has talked about a few times, but let's hear how he summarizes it again here in this video. And so what we want to do is create a situation where you, the user of a Cardano application in any app store, can see the, in the metadata of the application what level of curation it's gone through and, and quality control it's gone through. And we want that to be as transparent of a process as possible. And we want that to be an open process. So it's not controlled by a company and it's not controlled by some app store. It's actually metadata that's put on chain. And then you can decide the route of trust of who you trust. And then you can adjust your GUI accordingly. Uh, so as you know, we're building for our light wallet, IO's light wallet that's coming to market next year, a DAP store. And in that DAP store, we have a particular opinion on how things are going to be visualized. And to get into that DAP store, there's no approval process. Instead, there's going to be a standard for uh, embedding your app on the Cardano blockchain. So an app registration as transaction. Uh, and then every app that is registered, certified or uncertified, uh, will be uh, listed in that DAP store. They'll just be visualized differently. So the ones that are uncertified, there's no information about the author or any of this stuff. They'll appear in a kind of a no man's land, an open area where everything's at. And that's just raw data on the chain. And then the certified things uh, will appear in a different area and there'll be a lot more metadata about them because that's been provided. And we'll have a root of trust from auditors that we've worked with. So Charles has talked about this a few times before, but this idea of having the DAP store being completely open and instead of making it a barrier to entry of people not being able to get there unless they cross certain thresholds, instead, let anyone that wants to be there be there, but have the thresholds be on certifications and rankings and ratings and things like that. Sounds like a great compromise of both where you can leave it truly open and completely decentralized, but let the market itself and let the participants be the ones that say, okay, these are the ones that we think are trusted and these are the ones that are not. So really exciting times. Sunday Swap launch is right around the corner. And, and I know that we're long overdue to uh, revisit and look a little bit deeper at World Mobile. So I promise we'll have a video coming out on them soon. But what are you guys excited about? Tell us what are the projects that you're most pumped about. We can't wait to see them all coming out. And as Charles said here, Let's take it one step at a time, take it slowly and let the dust settle a little bit. But either way, I mean, we're on the eve of just some really, really great things. Let us know what you're pumped about. Join us on Telegram with the link below. And if nothing else, we'll see you next week.